What's up gamers? Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about some awesome shiny hunting locations for flying type Pokemon so you can get yourselves some nice shiny flying type Pokemon. Now, I do want to mention that a lot of these flying type Pokemon have overlap with other Pokemon in our other videos. So this video is going to be pretty much covering the different locations based on this sandwich, boosting the flying type Pokemon. So if you want to see the other locations, make sure to check out their dual type videos. For example, normal flying Pokemon are also in the normal video but they're in different spots and in different amounts so go ahead and check those out if you are curious on other locations for these pokemon a pokemon i want to mention that we aren't covering is going to be rotom fan this is going to be a flying electric pokemon and the only way to get rotom is going to be with the electric or ghost sandwich so you can check out the electric video if you want to see how to get that rotom and then you're just going to have to change the form in order to become rotom fan so that's how you're going to be able to do that all right now let's get on with the video and cover all the flying type pokemon we can all right, so for this sandwich, we're going to go back to our lovely salty recipe. So grab one prosciutto, and then we're going to hit salty, two salties. That's what we're doing for this one. Someone in the comments down below, please put the recipe that doesn't require salties. I can always count on you guys. You do an amazing job with running down these recipes. And that'll give us sparkling power flying level three, tidal power level three, and encounter power flying level three. If you are trying to hunt down Gyarados, well, I got you a really, really nice spot. Now, luckily, Gyarados is a flying type Pokemon, which means we could separate it out from the other water Pokemon. And the location you want to head to for this is going to be right over here at Gracia Stones, right by the Socorat Trail. So if you don't have this fast point unlocked, head over to Gracia Stones. It's going to be right over there by the Socorat Trail. And when you're here, you can see the amount of Gyarados that spawn on this side. And the cool part about it is we could just go simply really really fast like this right across and as you move you despawn out that entire group of Gyarados and that causes a new group of Gyarados to spawn so it won't be very hard for you guys to be getting a red Gyarados pretty quick and the amount of Gyarados that spawn here is unbelievable this is like a cracked out spot <laughs> look at look at how many this is a ridiculous amount oh my goodness and I I if you I think if you angle yourself in a good spot you can also do picnic resets here I believe which would make your Gyarados hunt a little bit easier yep you can do picnics right over there just like this there we go on the picnic and then we get out our picnic and we should see all the Gyarados spawn right back in pretty much there they are one two three four five six seven <laughs> they're just gonna keep coming but my suggestion is you know just run back and forth it might be a lot better but you have all the methods of doing it here and now you know that it's not too hard to get a red Gyarados to eventually spawn I wish I could pull one up in this uh, clip of the video but I want to make this information for you guys so you can get it. Luckily, I did happen to get a red Gyarados previously when I did a multiplayer hunt with my buddy. If you aren't subscribed already, what are you doing? There's so much shiny luck by just hitting that subscribe button. And we have so many more videos on how to catch shiny Pokemon. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that button and drop a like as well. If you want to hunt some Rookadees and Corvus Squire, this is going to be a very, very good spot. And it's going to be located over here within the Canyon area. The Canyon area, pretty much South Province area three. So we're going to be hunting these birds down. And luckily for everyone coming here, this is the bird that spawns the most in this area. So wherever you go, you're going to find rookities. So what you're going to be looking for are yellow rookities. And any Corvus Squire you see, it's going to be a silverish gray color. That's pretty much it when you're here. And as you're traveling, you'll just see constant families spawn in. And if you run fast, families will keep spawning in. If you slow down, you'll get the occasional rookity. But if you want to speed up your hunt, which I kind of do and don't suggest, because if you run really fast, you'll just get the families to spawn, right? Which will make your hunt easier. But while you're doing this, you're missing out on possibly the small rookities that could be shiny. So <laughs> I suggest just walk it walk a certain pathway, get all the Pokemon to spawn in, even the solo Rookities that are going to be over here, and eventually you will bump into your Shiny. So make your own pathway however you want in this area, but I'm sure you guys will be able to figure out the most optimal one and be able to grab yourself a very nice Rookity and Corvus Squire. And this is why the Flying Sandwich is pretty good to get these birds specifically. Another really important area is going to be by Lavincia. You come to Lavincia South and you just come right out the town. This is going to be another spot where you're going to be seeing birds spawn here. And over here, you'll get Corvus Squire families with random Rookities. You also will be getting Squawkability 
ability. This is going to be more focused on these specific two birds here when you do the flying. Make sure you're also always looking over the edge. Sometimes you get Pokemon to spawn here. But if you want specifically a lot more Squawk abilities, you're probably going to want to pop the Normal Sandwich. It's going to help out a bit more. For some reason, the Normal Sandwich has them spawning a lot more. That's how I was able to get my Sandwich. And I noticed more luck with isolating out Squawk abilities that way since it is more important for me to hunt down all four forms in this game. So you can keep rinse and repeating this area in Lavincia to get these birds and see what you can get. Yeah, town spawns are pretty much a little more relaxing. So if you want to go in and out and do a little bit of a multi hunt between Squawk Ability and Corvus Squire and Rookity, then this will be the spot that you want to do it in right by Lavincia. So good luck getting your birds here. If you want a good spot to just solo hunt Wingles, this is going to be the spot right around here. So from the lighthouse in area one, Poco Poco Lighthouse, you want to drop down to this beach. And the only thing that you're going to be seeing here is going to be Wingles. That's literally it. And what you're going to be looking for is Wingles with a green stripe. So instead of the blue stripe, it is going to be a green one. So what you want to be paying attention to are the wings on the Wingle. So when you come in and out to see the spawns and despawns, that's what you're going to be paying attention to. And you can see how many of them are just spawning in the area. And all you have to do to despawn them out, once you're very clear on the fact that there, you know, there's not one stripe shiny in the area you really made sure you you checked out everything then you can be like okay i'm gonna go reset so just walk right back into this cave just like this walk in the cave despawn everything you see over there and then once you do that just come right back out and we'll get completely new spawns for all the wingles and you should eventually be able to spot yourself a one that is shiny and make your life very easy in getting a pelipper all right good luck getting your wingles here this is going to be a very interesting spot you're gonna see uh pelipers here gyarados and kilowatt Trolls. But the benefit of this spot is that you're going to get a lot more Pelippers to spawn in this area. If you specifically wanted to get a Pelipper to spawn, this rock over here on this area all the way up north is going to be a very very cool spot this is a very interesting spawner spot so if i hop off of this area and i actually might return here for the water video because this seems to be a good spot and you stand right up this cliff you're gonna see the spawn that little spawn center start to work there you go there's gyarados there's three pelipers spawning it there's a number four pelipper coming in and you can see that hey you know what this might be doable for this mod. There's five Pelipper. So there is a little bit of a Pelipper spawner here. I don't like to spawn in groups of Pokemon here. There you go. There's a group spawn for Pokemon. Uh, and they're going to take up most of the area. But you do get Pelippers. So good luck with this shiny hunt in this area. And you might be exploring the map and finding other Pelipper spots. But it's really chaotic. Kilowatt trolls are just very annoying and, and take over almost everything. Even it's pre-evolution. So good luck with your shiny hunt in this spot. If you want to hunt down Murkrow's and Honchkrow, the Sokorat Trail is probably going to be the best spot to do this in, especially because this is the only bird that is going to spawn in this area. It's very cool because they are family spawns and they don't spawn solo, which means you can just zoom at full speed here without slowing down cover as much ground as you want and you'll see the family spawn just like this so in order to pull off a shiny it's not going to be too tough here i actually happened to get one of my shinies from this area before so this will be a joke for a lot of people who are going to just run through the area and quickly go for the shiny and all you're looking for is really a that they're just like that <laughs> There's the shoddy. This is like about the fifth one I have. So yes, you will be able to get yourself one of these very, very quickly. <laughs> it's very exciting at first, but when you start to get like five Murkrows, it's not as exciting. Also, if you played Pokemon Legends Arceus, you probably got a few of these as well. So this is pretty much how you're going to be able to get your Murkrows in this game. There's also going to be certain times of the day as it becomes night where you're going to start to get Murkrows to spawn and other Pokemon despawn. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is another town where this happens at Alfernado and you can easily do a town reset for this Pokemon while you're here. So there you go. Now you know a little Murkrow trick when you're in Alfernada to do this. If you want to just solo hunt Flamigo, the Flying Sandwich is actually going to be pretty good because when you come to this swamp area right Right over here so you would go to the south province area five climb up and you'd be in the swamp area this is going to be literally like the only pokemon that spawns in here just families of flamigo everywhere you go when you run around
around. And that's pretty much the best way to get them by coming here and just running around. Uh, pretty much that's going to just spawn them in front of you. And what you're going to be looking for is just one that looks very pale. So just take some circles around the area. Groups of families do spawn here. So you want to keep eyes open for that. And then when, once you see the pale one, you're going to be good. So this hunt shouldn't take you too long over here. Just a couple of rotations around again or run back and forth. And you should have your shiny pretty quick here. So that's how you're going to get your hands on a flamigo. If you're trying to hunt down Rufflet, this is going to be the best area in a Sado Desert to do this right over here on the map. And you want to do simply town resets in order to pull off this Pokemon pretty fast. Town resets will allow you to quickly just go in, come right back out, and you'll get families of these Pokemon just spawning in front of you. Very simple way of getting this mod to spawn in. All you're looking for is a much more brown colored Rufflet. And then you could use the double home zoom in trick in order to identify if you have your shiny. This is the fastest way to do it. So just from Kaskarafa, come in, come out, and eventually you'll be able to get your shiny. You could choose to run around the desert if you want. If you don't want to, that's also works. But I noticed town spawns are always the best. So this is pretty much how you're going to get Rufflet. So this was a spot I wasn't really expecting to be in the overworld. But if you go to the swamp and go to this little river over here, you're going to find a bunch of mascarin just spawning in here. So jump in and just look around and you're going to, they just, they just keep spawning everywhere. So you can make a little trip over here, see a bunch of them as they're behind you. And you're going to be looking for the mascarin with the green wings as you're going. So the best strategy for this one is just keep heading down the river, despawn out a couple of them, respawn in a few new ones and just keep going. I was actually really surprised by the amount of them that did spawn in this area. So that's pretty interesting. So it was just on that little, little corner over there. So right up to there. So when you see them cut off, you want to just make sure that this is yeah, right about here to the end of that spot they just keep coming in so go back and forth here you could run on top and run closer to the river to spawn them in that's also another option but if you want to just swim and see what you get this is going to be a great way to just hunt down some masculines uh in a little straight line here without worrying about anything if you head over to this location the bamboo forest basically north province area two and this entire area is going to be a complete scyther area nothing else will spawn here besides solo scyther spawns so if you want to just solo hunt scyther with a flying sandwich this would be the spot in order to pull this off all you would have to simply do is just walk through this entire bamboo forest area from one end to the other <laughs> until you get your shiny which is going to look like this and after that uh you should be good to evolve it into a caesar by grabbing a metal cloth from lavincia's deli bird market and then it will turn into your caesar that's pretty much it so your scythers are going to be your number one spawning pokemon in this area so you can go ahead and grab yourself one with no problem when you come over to north province area three and you head over to the beach this is going to be your kilowattro hotspot these birds are literally going to be every Everywhere around this beach area and they're going to spawn in groups they're going to be spawning in the sky above you and what you're going to be looking for in this shiny is just a little more of a purple color but this is a great spot where you could get the evolution of kilowattro here flying just makes them just show up there's just so many look at how many they are and uh you just want to keep despawning them out and respawning them in until you happen to get your shiny and just make sure you're rotating your camera around sometimes they're a little bit of delayed spawns but you can see how easy it is to get these guys just to show up oh it's so nice so just the closer you stay towards the beach the more you get i like to despawn the group out i see I, if i don't see my shiny make sure you also have your double home button just so you're aware of what's around you and if you don't get them head over again to the other side of the beach and you're just gonna rinse and repeat this entire beach run over and over again you can go slower if you don't want to miss the single ones that spawn specifically but if you don't care about that you just want to go fast and get groups to spawn you could do that as well but yep that's pretty much where you're gonna get kilowattro with the flying sandwich you could also do this with the electric sandwich which we covered in the video there's a lot of crossover with the other typings we have since flying is not really its own category bombardiers this is going to be the hot spot to get them it's going to be located all the way in alfernada and the cool part about being in alfernada with these bombardiers spawning all around you is that you can do town resets depending on the highest amount of where they do spawn uh, that's where you're going to be choosing where to pop in and out of town this shiny is going to be very easy to spot because it's going to have no color on it 
it. Just think of gray. All the red on it is just grayed out pretty much. And uh, that's how you're going to be able to identify, identify this shiny. So what you want to do basically find the most concentrated spot around town. And when you see a good amount spawning in that area, just tap the town pretty much like this or hop over real quick just to despawn them out like that. And boom, you're back out here and you're going to get all the spawns to show up again. And there are a lot of spawns around you. These guys take a little bit of time to spawn in, but you get a very good amount. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you look here, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you get about 15 spawns showing up at a time when you're coming in out of town doing the reset here. And you just keep repeating that over and over again until you get your shiny. And it doesn't have to be the exact spot I showed you. It could be literally any of these spots around the town. So you could pick over here if you choose to and then run right back out and go the other side. Just whatever gets you the most bombardiers, do that and get yourselves a very nice shiny. If you want to do a nice single hunt area for Noibat, you're going to have to go from the Porto Marinada spot all the way over here or the fast teleport is the Colonnade Hollow and you're going to be in this location. Over here, you're going to get nothing but solo Noibats to be spawning around you. So that's all you're be seeing in this area. So don't go too fast as they are all solo spawns, but you can just slowly walk around the area, despawn out a group of them. It, this is in fact a large amount. It almost looks like a mass outbreak of just getting a Noibat. So this would be a very good spot for you just to do a simple a, a, amount of rotations by coming around, making sure you're checking out the area, just circling around. Don't go fast here. Like I said, again, it's going to be a very good spot to get these Noibats. Once you make those circles, you eventually will bump into a Noibat and it's not families, but it'll do the job if you want to solo hunt this out as nothing is really going to be interfering with you. And that's pretty much how you get the shiny because I just bumped into the shiny literally as I'm saying this to you by doing the circle rotations. If you want to hunt down Delibird, Bird, which is going to be your ice flying type, you just basically have to head over to the ice mountain area. Uh, right now, I just teleported over to Glaciano Mountain, but pretty much anywhere on the ice mountain will do. There are just tons and tons of Deli Birds everywhere you go here. It's really cool to see. And you're going to be looking out for a purple Deli Bird, which is going to be your indicator for a shiny one. This is a, also a very good way to isolate out and solo hunt the Deli Birds from all the ice type because ice types also get very confusing on this mountain. So getting a solo Deli Bird will be very easy as, wow, that spawn is kind of crazy. What? Look how many Deli Birds spawn there. That's insane. Wow. Yeah, that, that spot looks kind of cool. That was like a good, what, like two families spawned in together over there? That was cool. Yeah, there's a lot of Deli Birds that do spawn here. You can climb up the mountain. You'll find them pretty much everywhere. So Glaciado Mountains is pretty much where you want to go in order to pull this off. So good luck with your Deli Bird hunt in the Glaciado Mountains and I hope you get yourselves a very nice holiday bird <laughs> that you can own for yourselves. This is a spot that I talked about in our last video, which was our normal video for Swablu. But something interesting is that if you're a Scarlet player, you're going to also be bumping into this Pokemon right over here, a ghost type. This is going to be where you're going to get also get Drift Loons because they are a flying type Pokemon. So if you are exploring this pathway at night, it won't be just a Swablu spot, but I did want to show it off because it is nighttime but you'll also get drift loons around this area and in scarlet you're going to be looking for a yellow shiny from both actually from the swablus and from the drift loons when they do happen to spawn but otherwise during the daytime it's just going to be swablus and that's all you're going to have to worry about when you're in this area and they should be a very easy to spawn in like i mentioned in most of the videos when you're running down this pathway from west province area one north you have the ability to turn right over here continue down this path come on a right and then head to cascarafa so you can do this entire Higher path. It's pretty fun if you really just want to focus on your Altarias. There we go. Altaria, Altarias. And then once you get to town, oh, it looks like we get some of these crane Pokemon here and there. Once you get to the town over here, you're going to be able to start to do something that we like calling these town resets, right? So you hit Cascarafa, and as soon as you tap into it, boom, you come back out, and then all the Pokemon will start to spawn. And including at nighttime, it's going to be the Drifloon. So in a way, you can shiny hunt both this ghost Pokemon and Altaria looking for yellow shinies. But if it's daytime, you'll only be hunting down for these Swablus. So good luck in this area, solo hunting Swablu during the day. And for Scarlet players, you'll be dual hunting at night. If you head over to this area of Cortando Town, 
down and around the area is going to be these little farmlands. You're going to notice a lot of flying Pokemon here. Um, it's specifically a bunch of combies in the background of Vitafine Hoppips. When you enter the farms, though, you're going to be bumping into a group of Starlies. Starlies tend to spawn quite a bit more with the flying sandwich in this area. And what you'll be looking for for Starly is this kind of shiny with the brown color. Now, that's how you're going to be able to identify Starly. You're also going to be bumping into, like I mentioned, combies and groups of Vespi Queen because they are bug flying. You're going to have to pop a bug sandwich and come back into this area if you just want to isolate that out completely. Now, with flying, you're going to get a mix of Starlies here, like I mentioned. So while you're hopping from farm to farm or just casually moving around the area in or around Cortando, you're going to spot these Pokemon. So keep that in mind as you hop from farm to farm. It's not going to be perfect Starly spawns. It's not 100% isolated, but it does get the job done in terms of the Starlies being able to spawn and having them to be available via catching. So this is pretty much in Cortando area where you're going to be getting your starlies in my normal video i give you a really really good spot where you can get star raptors i got about two of those shinies there it's just so much better than how these starlies are spawning in this video so if you want to check that out head over to the normal video very good spot to catch star raptor if you go from our zone east this is going to be like a town spawn exactly where i am i'm in front of this big tree over here there's a water in the background and you face out here and you just pop yourself out a wee bit like this you're gonna get pokemon to spawn right right in front of your area and as you can see it's a very insane mix of <laughs> squawk ability we got oricorios and we got corvus squire it's it's insane because artisan has a lot of birds and it's not as easy to separate them out so if you come to this town it's going to be more of a multi hunt that's pretty much how these birds are going to work in this area just because the amounts of them that are here you get sometimes nice groups of squawk ability i know that is the one thing that's consistent you do get oricorios to spawn but the better spot to get Ori Corals is going to be with a fire sandwich and in this area. Squawk ability has four specific colors, a green, blue, yellow, and white. And all you're going to be looking for is the top of its head to be pink. That's it. That's going to be your number one key distinguishing feature in order to tell. So what you can do is if you choose and you want to just hunt like this for these specific Pokemon, is come in an Artizone and come back out. You occasionally, like I said, will have the Rookity and Corvus Squire. Just know what those shinies look like, yellow and silver. Make sure you have your double home tap zoom zoom in ready so you can easily identify if these Pokemon pixels match up to what a shiny should be. And you can constantly just rinse and repeat by coming in and out of our zone over here until you get the specific Pokemon you want to spawn. And it is the color shiny you want. So make sure you're just looking around, heading around at all times in this area, and you should be able to pull a shiny. Kind of a multi hunt. Unfortunately, not a very clean hunt, but Squawk Ability is definitely the highest amount, followed by Uri Koryos, And then you have the random Corvus Squire and Rookidee that appears. If you want to focus on fletchlings with a hop ips this is a hop up slash fletchling spot it's pretty much going to be just families of them spawning around as you can see there's our fletchling family there's our hop ips and you're going to be just running around this area you'll get single hop ips spawning around here you also will get the fletchling family so what i like to do is walk around and there you go there's a fletchling family and since they do spawn in as families you can go fast just make sure you're pacing your camera and you're covering enough ground where you can get the families to spawn and show up i'm just going to rotate right before this Pokemon Center. Once you get out of the Pokemon Center area and head towards the fields like that, when you go to the fields, that's when it's going to really stop. So you want to stay right beforehand and pretty much cover everything from this area over here back until the Mesa goes a west gate. It's not going to be 100% the cleanest shiny hunt in the game, but it's an option for you guys if you want to just get families of Fletchling. And I'm sure you guys will be discovering them as you explore the area. And they're definitely Fletchlings and also the starting area but this is just a pretty good dual hunt area if you want to just get families it's not perfect like i said but i'm giving you guys the option and listen i want you guys to use these videos and go beyond what i just tell you find better spots than me i spend a lot of time looking for spots but i know you guys also come up with amazing ones that you could write down in the comment section below and i love reading them and i think everyone who watches these videos should also be looking at the comments because there's some good advice there but yeah pretty much there you go there's your fletchings and hop ups good luck getting them over here a very fun spot to get noi bats and Noiverns, as well as Halucha, is going to be right over here. If you're over by the Bamboo Forest, this is the Fury Falls. Climb right over to this green spot, which 
means you'll be able to look over and see that over there. And you will see Haluchas. And as we're going further in, we're going to get family spawns too. Once in a while, you get a Combi, Vespa Queen. That's nice. But mostly here, you're going to be getting Noiverns. There we go. And Noibat families. And they spawn in only as families, what I noticed, which means if you're specifically just hunting for them, you can run at full speed and not worry about it not spawning. Haluchas, of course, are going to be solo spawn. So you will be able to get Haluchas also showing up here. Also, Halucha has such a great shiny, which you should definitely get. I love this shiny. It's one of the coolest shinies in the game. So this basically this entire area you can explore, you can despawn, respawn, picnic reset, do whatever it takes in order to get these Pokemon to spawn again and again. So yeah, this is just an option for you guys. If you don't like the previous Noibat alone spot, this is a good spot to get Noiverns. Pretty much it's going to be this entire green greenish area where you're going to be able to find them. And it's going to be above this area from Fury Falls. So good luck getting your Halucha, your Noibats, your Noiverns, and I'm sure you guys will get some awesome shinies here, but this is just another great hunting spot for all of you. If you come over to the North Province Area 3 spot and come down to the Flower Area, you're going to be noticing a bunch of Vivians over here. Now, Vivians are going to show up a lot more in the bug video, and you're going to get a lot more pure spawns if you do happen to come here for that. You're also, because of the Flying Sandwich, going to get families of Jumpluff along with Hopips, so because they are family spawns if you decide to just want to run up and down this entire area you'll be able to bump into just those families over here in the overworld so that's not a bad idea there's one shiny <laughs> just by running really fast okay there we go this is a spot yep there it is wow look at that shiny right for you obviously if you want to solo out hop ips the better video to do that is is going to be the grass video these guys are all over area one and the starting area and you have a lot better chance of getting them here we just got lucky because you know you're subscribed and if you hit subscribe you get shiny luck on this channel so when we do shiny hunt we're just gonna bump into them just like that but yes vivians are gonna be a lot more numbers via the bug video and when it comes to also the combies and vespa queens that will occasionally spawn while you're in this area you're gonna want to probably use the bug sandwich for them as well and go over to the cortando area because it's gonna be better so refer out to the bug video for these but if you have your flying sandwich active and you just are wanting to hunt some of these bug pokemon vivian is a great option for you to do up in this area okay welcome to the lake casaroya area where we usually just talk about this entire pathway here and running back and forth in order to get some spawns now you'll notice a few pokemon on screen we got star raptor over here who has way better spawns in our normal video so go watch the normal video if you want to see the amazing spawns for that pokemon we got scyther which we already covered has better spots in the video in the bamboo forest and then we got tropius over here who we haven't talked about now tropius is going to spawn all over this area and shiny tropius will look like this but if you want specifically just Tropius to spawn here and nothing else, you're going to want to pop a grass sandwich. So if you go to the grass video, you'll be able to see that one there. But if you enjoy this chaotic multi-hunt with all these Pokemon, Flamigo, Staraptor, Scyther, and Tropius, this will be the location where you want to go. It's just going to be up and down this patch of land in Casaroya Lake. Just keep going up there and down and you'll be getting a bunch of spawns of these Pokemon. Now it is, like I said, a little chaotic and I know a lot of you guys don't like having a lot of variables when you're hunting and you want the most isolated method you can so once again go to the grass video check that one out it is the best way to lock down on tropius and we mentioned all these other pokemon do have good spawns but there you go here's just another option another hunting route to just another idea look also halucha spawn here absolute chaos so good luck with this hunt if you choose to do the hunting in Casaroya Lake. Okay, so for Pokemon Violet players, the only flying Pokemon you're really going to be getting in your game is going to be Iron Jugulus. That is going to be a dark flying Pokemon. And what I can tell you is you can either run around the entire area looking for it, or you can come to this special spot over here, drop down from Research Station Lab number four, head to the crystal, and just go back and forth on this rock until you see Iron Jugulus just show up there. That is is a, a way that you can get them to spawn also you can pretty much find them in the dark video iron jugglers will be the only dark pokemon to spawn on this rock if you do the dark one so that is another way of getting iron jugglers but yeah that's pretty much the spot to do it in or area zero if you want yourselves an iron jugglers
So if you head to area zero, pretty much research station lab number one, and you have the flying sandwich on, it's going to be chaos. But it's kind of a fun kind of chaos because you're going to have third evolutions of Corviknight. You're going to have bravery. Sometimes you'll get the Alucha showing up. You'll get talent flames coming around here. So this is really fun if you just want to come and hunt a bunch of Pokemon, just do a nice multi hunt. And pretty much from area one research lab, you can just walk around, just get a bunch of flying Pokemon. You'll also be getting a bunch of skip loops here they do spawn here as well and you'll be on the lookout for these pokemon they spawn in groups so it's going to be easy to run up and down and try to get a shiny for that pokemon uh so what i like to do is just run back and forth in this area until i do happen to find a shiny you get corviknight bravery there's a whole bravery group right there that's pretty cool a uh, whole entire family spawn you got your corviknights and then you got this little rock area which usually spawns one pokemon but because it's mixed up with the flying sandwiches you're just going to be getting a giant mix of them so you want to do a multi shiny hunt for these pokemon area zero is the place to be especially for flying pokemon like they are everywhere over here there's some haunch crows and Murkrow's, Alucha, and as we head to Research Station Lab number two, you'll notice some more Pokemon as we're coming down. It's just a really nice mix of these third evolutions here. You can't really solo these out unless you go for specific sandwiches. For example, you want a bunch of bravery to spawn, you're going to have to hit the normal sandwich, uh, which is going to be covered in the normal video uh, that we just did. If you want to do Corviknights, you're going to have to pop the steel sandwich, and this whole area is going to be full of Corviknights. So basically, the sandwich is going to determine what you're really going to be seeing in this area. Now, if we head all the way down here to the water area we should be getting mascarins to be spawning here this is also a spot for mascarin and there you go there is a bunch of mascarin here and at the edges we should also be getting some flamigos so this is a, more, a very interesting ecosystem <laughs> for hunting so area zero very cool a lot of different pokemon in different spots but birds galore if you really focus on the spots for the pokemon even you get swablus and alterias it's just it's insane so good luck with uh this crazy hunt here in this part of area zero up to research station lab number three if you did enjoy this video make sure to go check out some locations of these pokemon over here and there's also a whole entire playlist of them as well so go ahead click on this